Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this morning's Mass will be offered for Grace Lutsky, and today we celebrate the Feast of St. Romuald. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <coughs> the grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. I want to you Coming together as God's family, with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you bring us hope for better days to come. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring healing to the sick and the suffering. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring part in the peace to the sinner. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy, mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O oh God, who through St. Romuald renewed the manner of life of hermits in your church, grant that de denying ourselves and following Christ, we may merit to reach the heavenly realms on high. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, brothers and sisters, I consider everything as a loss because of the spring good of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have accepted the loss of all things, and I consider them so much rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having any righteousness of my own based on the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God, depending on faith to know him and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his <coughs> sufferings by being conformed to his death. If somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead, it is not that I have already taken hold of it, or have already attained perfect maturity, but I continue my pursuit in hope that I may possess it, since I have indeed been taken possession of by Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I, for my part, do not consider myself to have taken possession. Just one thing, forgetting what lies behind, but straining forward to what lies ahead. I continue my pursuit toward the goal, prize of God's upward calling in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O oh Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In you, you Lord, Lord, I have found my peace. peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weary, weaned child, like a weaned child on his mother's lap, so is my soul within me. And you, Lord, have found my peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. And you, Lord, have found my peace. Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. 
If anyone comes to me without hating his father and his mother, wife and children, <coughs> brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you, wishing to construct the tower, does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after have laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, this one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king, marching in the battle, would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can su successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops? But if not, while he was still far away, he was, will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In this way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Saint Rob Cromwell lived in the tenth century after Christ. He led a, led a life of mm. sin. And one day he saw his father murder someone, for whatever reason I don't know, but he was horrified. And he, he looked upon this as something that was violently opposed to God and the commandments. And so he went into religious life for three years. <coughs> And his brother monks felt that he wasn't fit for the job, so they dismissed him from the monastery. Well then the next thing he did is, for 30 years, he went throughout Europe, founding monasteries and hermitages, and he was rather successful. So he asked the Pope if he could go into the country of Hungary. <coughs> and evangelized the people. The Pope gave him permission, but he fell sick. He recovered, fell sick again. <clears throat> so he really didn't accomplish much good in his illness. Next thing, he went, in, he went through a period of spiritual aridity, the dark night of the soul where he didn't feel the presence of God. He just felt blah. But he continued doing good work. <coughs> Next thing, he enters another monastery. And he's falsely accused of a very serious crime. And his brother monks, did not support him. In fact, he was almost defrocked. He was not allowed to say Mass. He, you might say, he was excommunicated and he lived in seclusion for almost six months. After that, he returned to the religious life and he founded an order, which even today does exist, but small in number, a group of hermits called Camaldolese. <coughs> the hermits lived in separate, you might call them huts. They didn't see each other until Sunday when they were gathered together for Mass, say their divine office, maybe have something to eat, and then they returned to their little hut for the rest of the week <coughs> and did not communicate with each other. They just spent their day in silent prayer. Finally, 
after 70 years, Ramawal finally died, but he was considered a saint almost immediately, and today he's held in very high regard, not so much in the United States, but throughout Europe. So now, if you'll stand, please, we'll have our general intercession. <coughs> Because God is our stronghold in times of need, we petition Him with our prayers. Our members of the Church, may we witness on behalf of Christ and testify to the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For our national leaders, may God grant them courage to work for justice at all levels of society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families <coughs> suffering separation or divorce, may Christ heal their wounds <coughs> and renew them in hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community, may the Holy Spirit open our hearts to hear the voice of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially great Lutsky, for whom this Mass is offered and our own deceased loved ones and parishioners, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may hear and answer our special intentions, which we now mention in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we praise you. We thank you for the countless ways you work in our lives. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbles himself to share in our humanity. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. But through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, and may we be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands, and the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the church. Grant those who are approach you all to avoid, that they may be filled with the Holy Spirit. Grant those who approach you all to avoid that spirit of devotion with which St. Romwald was on fire. So that pure of heart and fervent in charity, we may offer you a worthy sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. <coughs> For the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of God. It is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience this on earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim you. 
Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. I call you therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death, Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Grace Lefke and all of our deceased loved ones and parishioners and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Romuald, Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. And we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ 
bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, bring us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of the nation under my room, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament we have received, renew our hearts, O Lord, so that by the example of St. Romuald, being wise in the things from above and not in the things of earth here below, we may merit to appear in glory with Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. You, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him in all that he pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the roots.
souls. Amen. Have a good day. <clears throat>